All right, let's go to Thursday college football. We got Louisville and Duke. Uh, Louisville, 19 and a half point road favorites, 59 and a half the total uh, in this game. That's a lot of points to be laying here uh, on the road with uh, Louisville. I know Duke has just had a dismal, dismal season, and they've been non competitive now four straight weeks 48 nothing to Virginia, 45 7 to Wake, 54 29 to Pitt, 48 uh, 17 over the weekend uh, against Virginia Tech. Uh, 0-4 straight up, 0-4 against the spread in those games, and they haven't been within uh, within 24 points of any of these teams. The losses by 48, by 40, uh, by 48, by 38, by 25, and by 31. So they're just getting absolutely whipped. There's no way I'm on Duke here. No way. Uh, I think David Cutcliffe is going to be out after the year. I think they're going to yeah. just say we're parting ways. He's going to retire. I think he's mailing it in at this point. Uh, he's done all he can with this program. This program, the only reason they've done anything the last 10, 15 years is because of David Cutcliffe. Remember, they've gotten to bowl games. They've had winning seasons. There was even one year they were threatening for a while to be a, in the ACC championship game, all because of Cutcliffe. It's been a great run, but you know he's at the tail end of his career. He's getting older now. Team's not very good. They're losing rec- the recruiting battle big time the last couple of years, and you can see the writings on the wall. Now I think with Cutcliffe probably retiring at the end of the year, it's like where's the incentive to keep trying to coach these guys up when they're not very good and they're just not giving you the performance on the field you want. So it's just one of those toxic situations for Duke where I probably won't be betting on them the rest of the season, kind of like with FIU, you know, with the shit show that's going on with yeah. them. I want no part of a team that's in complete turmoil right now. Duke is in turmoil. FIU is in turmoil. I think they're very similar. I want no part of Duke. The question is, can we lay it with Louisville? I don't know. That's that's a lot of points to be laying with a Louisville team that's sometimes so schizophrenic and up and down. And they did beat up Syracuse last week, 41-3. to But prior to that, they didn't have a single win against an FBS team by this kind of margin. So it's still a little bit of a leap of faith to ask Louisville to win by three touchdowns on the road. But if I had to bet the game, I would only look to the road favorite here. Uh, Connor, Louisville, Duke. Yeah, that's the problem. They haven't beaten anybody by this. But that win last week was huge. I mean, they they obviously had Syracuse number. They kicked the shit out of them, 41-3. If that defense is going to play like that, this Duke offense is not very good. I know they scored 29 versus Pitt, junk time. They got 17 last week. But the defense is just horrendous. Um, Louisville should win this game. Uh, 49, 14. So, I mean, I'd lean with them. It's just good. They got to go on the road and do it, but I'd only uh, lay the points here. Louisville. Yeah. It's just hard to make a case for Duke right now. Simple as 